Today, Camilla is being reminded of everything. Some even claim that she finally got her hands on power, wants to deprive William of the throne and put her son there. Nonsense, of course, but the plot of the soap opera called What's Going On in the British Royal Family has become so convoluted that there is nothing surprising in the crazy versions. Camilla is already frankly called a slacker who could not stand the pace of work for the crown. It would seem, what's the big deal meet different people, smile for the press, cut some ribbon and talk to the right personalities. Surely those who think that all this is light entertainment are far from 70 years old. At this age you want peace and quiet, once a year you can, of course, endure some kind of celebration with the presence of many relatives, but every day to live in this mode is unrealistic. Besides, if you are being watched by the press, it creates a lot of tension for any person. As young as Diana was, she couldn't handle it. The last time before her death, the fact that she was in a state of moral decay, no one doubts. It's hard to know there are millions of eyes watching you all the time. Now Camilla is being compared to Princess Anne, only people forget that Anne was in the crosshairs of the press from birth. So what's so strange that the king's consort wants to rest for a few days in silence? The lack of concrete news about Kate's well-being literally drove the entire British press crazy as well. Journalists are literally storming. They say the Camilla has reached the power, and now it from Miss Olympus can't be kicked out with a stick, then they are indignant that she decided to leave this very power for a whole week. But if you feel that you are on the verge of a psychological breakdown, what are you going to think about your own health or what will be said by your subjects, who already, to put it mildly, do not like you very much? William, on the other hand, is behaving strangely these days. Well, his beloved wife has fallen ill, well, he was confused in the first days because of his worries. You the future king, pull yourself together. No, I won't work, I'll sit by the bedside. Even for an ordinary man, such behavior is strange, and for a man who is going to rule an entire kingdom, it is generally unacceptable. To dump the duties of the royal family on two old ladies is not manly at all. Worrying about Kate's health can be a job in itself. William should read the British press, which is increasingly saying that it is time to invite Garrick. True, journalists forget who's the leader in the Sussex family right now. Does anyone seriously regard the Duke of Sussex as a person capable of working? In the six years since the prince got married, has he worked a single day? Suing, interviewing, gossiping, entertaining. And anyone thinks this man can be put to work? He and his wife work two hours a week at a charity. And then they go on vacation until the next week. Meghan did have a job doing a soap opera. But when was that? That was just Meghan Markle, a girl with ambition. Now she's a duchess, she owns a huge estate, she doesn't have to work. She didn't even want to work for Netflix, thinking she should only be paid for the name the company was associated with. Besides, what would the royal subject say? Pay a bum who hates the British monarchy and denigrates it in every possible way to popularize it? After all, that is the very essence of the existence of the royal house. Not to make decisions for the country, nor to determine its policies, but to shine its face. Maybe some people think that's the right job for the Sussex family. They'll make a mess of things you'll have to clean up. Wait until Camilla has had a break and William has come to his senses. If you like the video, then don't forget to put a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the latest news about the royal family.